We're in the Museum of Modern Art, and we're looking at Constantin Brancusi's Bird in Space from 1928. Brancusi was a, was a Romanian who worked from almost his entire career in Paris, and he worked in lots of media and often pushed the materials to really new expressions. Is this bronze? It's, a, it's bronze that has been really highly polished. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it looks like gold. But it's not just bronze, because for Brancusi, the pedestal was part of the sculpture. Ah, and, and it's got a stone It's pedestal. got limestone um, below that. And very often you would actually see a wooden pedestal even below that, creating a kind of hierarchy of materials from the most, what he considered the most primitive mm -hmm. to the most So is there industrial. a kind of Neoplatonic idea of ascending from the material up to the immaterial? I think that that's exactly right. And in fact, the reflectivity of the bronze really drives that point yes. home because it, it is really about light and about actually about movement, yes, right? Yes, it is. This, is. this is not a sculpture that is any, in any way a literal depiction of a bird. It's a depiction really of this gentle organic arcing of this soaring figure. It's not a bird. It's so much as a representation of, of the thing that birds do that we love. As one sort of moves in, around it and looks at it, the light that reflects on it shifts and changes and flickers. It does. So it does have a sense of, of something almost kinetic. Well, that's right, as if it were moving and soaring. But it's not a propulsion that seems mechanical, even no. though it is metal. And we see it almost as a kind of industrial material. There's a great story about this sculpture. And actually, it's this sculpture in particular. This was included in the famous 1936 exhibition at MoMA called Cubism and Abstract Art. Mm -hmm. And when this came over from France, the customs agents kept it and wouldn't let it out Why? because MoMA was claiming it as a work of yeah, art and like they didn't believe it. This is 1936 and they thought it had some industrial use and therefore could be taxed. And MoMA said, ah. no, it's a work of art, it should not be taxed. And it was actually held and there was a little bit of a court case but about it. What? What purpose could this possibly there was, there serve? Was, uh, if I remember correctly, the, the paper suggests that it may be in some way a propeller or a piece of a propeller. Huh, interesting. Um, so th there, it really does speak to the radicality, which I think we forget of Absolutely. just how abstract this is. Yeah, just, to us, it, it, it doesn't really in some ways look so abstract. It does suggest flight and upward movement, and we're used to things suggesting things I think that like that. that.